We're here at PRI 2019 with Steve Darnell. And you know, Steve, I'm sure throughout your years of working on diesels, you've run into lots of water contamination and diesel fuel contamination issues. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, over the years, I mean, a lot of people think that I've only lived in Vegas, but I spent a lot of time in Montana. And up in Montana, you know, uh, fuel's gonna show up, not always super pure. Um, and it's how they get it there. You know, a lot of times when they run it underground in a pipeline, and they're running in between a pig, which is pushing the fuel through the lines. You don't know what you're getting for sure. And a lot of times you are getting a lot of water in your fuel. And that's probably, I would say, other than straight dirt, which I've ran dirt through my motors too. <laughs> water's probably the next worst enemy um, on your injectors and fuel economy and just the performance of your vehicle. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, and it is. It's extremely damaging on all the fuel injection components, and it's really going to reduce the life, if not kill it immediately. So what we've got here, we've got a water separation demonstration stand. We've got contaminated diesel fuel, about five gallons, and 200 milliliters of water. So what we're going to do is run it through our fast fuel system with the extreme water separator and a competitor system with their filters, and pump, pump them into each opposing cylinder on each side. Once ours runs through the filters, it'll be nice pure diesel fuel, and the competitor's fuel is still gonna be super cloudy. Right. So what do you say we get this test started? Let's see it, I've been, I've been hearing a lot of good things about this uh, water separator filter. I know that we've been, well you guys have been working on it forever. Yeah, I we, say we, because I've been with you forever, but oh, I'm absolutely. just saying like, that filter I know has been up and coming, and it's been exciting to actually see how it works. Yeah, yeah, it's been a few years in development, and so let's check out, see let's how it kick works. kick it on, let's see what happens, man. Let's see if we can turn our tangerine into straight orange juice. Let's do it. That's what it looks like. Gonna connect our <laughs> suction line, this feed line here. Oh yeah. Let's see how she works. So I do have to prime each system individually really quick. Unfortunately, you do have to prime it. It takes a minute. You gotta do it one at a time. Yeah, I do have to do it one at a time. Get some fuel in there. This is a this is such a cool concept to actually show how it really works, and you can clearly clearly see how it's going to work. So I like this. Absolutely. Well, we got it primed up. Let's get it started. Let's do it. Let's see how she runs. There we go. I mean, you can already see like the difference in the clarity, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Like, I can see the all-thread rod. I can't even see the all-thread rod in that one. Yeah, it's still gonna be extremely cloudy. It's, it's, if any, it's not gonna remove any of that water at all. No. You Let's... can see a little bit of air came up, gonna rise to the top. Once that air's completely separated. Well, even this... with the air in it, that you can already see. Oh, oh absolutely, absolutely. I mean, so that's a pretty good demonstration on really how that, you know, people look at filters like, you know, anybody could grab a filter off the shelf and take it back to their shop and bolt it on and you don't really know what it, is it really working? You, you hope you know so what I'm and you, you expect it to do its job, but until you see how well it works, you really don't know. And that's what we're doing here. The and then proof's what, what, in the pudding and we're demonstrating exactly how well it works. How, what is the percentage of the fuel of the water that it will take out so of, of, of like this system right here. It'll remove 99.96% of the water in this fuel. That's amazing, I mean, because you know, this is where all them over the road semi trucks, think about it. They're fueling up wherever, whenever. They're at the Loves, they're at the Flying J, they're at this, you know, we don't know for sure what is in the fuel all the time. But when you have a system like this, you're pretty, your insurance is a lot better of having a better fuel economy because with the water in the fuel, your economy goes down also. It does, and it's gonna reduce the power output because the water and the, and the fuel is not gonna be as potent. So I think for real, if, if, if you're a fleet guy, if you're a race guy, if you just are a guy that wants to take care of your diesel truck, I think that right there is a good system to have. That Absolutely, builds, yes. Absolutely. We appreciate you coming out and watching. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it.